Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Baha Shom, Rakaha Kudash, Barakatum. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahawa, Baha Shom, Yahawa Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule and teach well. In peace and salutations to you, sincere Akiam out there, pushing this word and truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. This is the brother Raya coming at you with another lesson. And in this lesson, I'll be profiling this quick clip from uh, the TikTok page, Humble Canadian Rebel underscore 13.0. And I originally saw this clip on one of uh, Elder Malcolm of the Chicago camps videos. And then uh, one of the brothers in our camp, you know, reposted it in uh, our chat. But hey, this just goes to show that a lot of these other camps out there, hey, they either paid off or what? They're paid off by the spiritual demon Satan to uh, break down these scriptures wrong, break down these prophecies wrong, and lead a lot of you Israelites astray. Because as we're about to see in this short clip, hey, we're getting closer and closer to the rollout and mandatory implementation of the MARK. O F T H E B E A S T in Revelation 13 verses 16 to 18, which is the RFID slash NFC C hip implant. And as we get closer and closer to that inevitability, and you false prophets out there are going to be exposed more and more. And hey, you're going to have to make a decision. Are you, you know, going to admit? That the, the men of the Great Millstone or GMS have been correct this whole time? And what? Humble yourselves with your great pride? Or are you going to, you know, keep, you know, deceiving your congregations until the wheels fall off and not just lead to your destruction, but their destruction as well? We are coming into deadly serious times. And if you don't get right, you know, you're going to have a lot of blood on your hands <coughs> and great shame in the kingdom of heaven. But this is a fair use copyright disclaimer. I do not own any of the footage in this clip, nor do I stand to gain from it monetarily. It is simply for educational purposes. A quick update about a document that got passed by the United Nations this weekend called the Pact of the Future document. It's two parts, one on science and technology, and one about the youth and future generations. It is quite egregious, and it was done by a procedure called the silence procedure, which makes it a pact, and if no one objected, it is automatically adopted and put into the record as being completely adopted. This is the World Health Organization's runaround, since, or, or end around. Since they were not able to get the World Health Organization treaty passed, um, they decided to take it to the General Assembly. And it is even more egregious than what the World Health Organization was wanting to get passed. Let me just read you something really quickly about what is inside of this pact that is now being accepted by 193 nations around the world and equally open armed accepted by our current administration. Everyone, it says that this is the power structure fully digital and maximized for the control of the masses. Everyone will be expected to have a biometric digital ID that marks them not just as citizens of an individual country, but as a global citizen. So anytime you hear global citizen or anytime you hear sustainability, think that this is an egregious thing that's happening at the level of the World Health Organization and the United Nations. Um, anyone that has a dissonant opinion will be labeled as misinformation, disinformation, or malinformation, and memory hold. Perpetrators for unapproved information will be fact-checked and punished by the system, which will be operated and enforced by artificial intelligence. Punishments will include being locked out of one's bank account, being unable to make certain purchases, unable to get on an airplane, on a subway, drive on public roads. This is the future according to, to the world's self-appointed overlords at the United Nations. These are unelected bureaucrats that are making decisions about our country, our sovereignty around the world. Nothing could be more important at this point in time 
than to get prepared. Have water, food, digital. And you know, the only way you're going to get prepared is with, you know, Yahabo Bahashem Yahabashai. And only for you Israelites are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out there. But what did she say in that clip? You know, the UN and these other uh, organizations out here, which are fronts for the elites, you know, such as the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, and for their agendas they want to push, that great R E S E T, the Fourth Industrial Revolution, their N W Zero, are pushing very soon for global digital biometric ids that everyone is uh going to have to have and if you speak up against the government or uh anything like that what does it say hey you're going to be penalized you won't be able to travel buy or sell do anything in society and hey that perfectly lines up with biblical prophecy this is revelation chapter 13 verse 16 and he that he being the elites causeth all remember what uh that woman just said everyone is going to have to have that biometric digital id and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads that c hip implant and then what else do you have you know with the forehead elon musk with Neuralink and then a lot of other companies out here working on BCIs or brain computer interfaces. Now, let's go to that word mark in the Strongs, which is G5480, Haragma, which is the actual, you know, C hip, a stamp and imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the so-called antichrist or anti-hamashiach which that's a spirit out here that's not an actual you know single man out here with the uh you know a black swoop to the side haircut in a business suit and a briefcase that's anything that is contrary to yahabo bahashem yahabashai the scriptures and the way of righteousness which is exactly what this Edomite or this so-called white man pushes on the earth, a completely, you know, anti hamashiak lifestyle. And his uh, seal of approval <laughs> is going to be that Haragma. And when we go to the outline of biblical use, or oh, when we go to the Strong's info, the Strong's definition, what does it say? Haragma from the same as G5482, a scratch or etching how do they get it into your skin they scratch or etch into it with that syringe which is the hotox and in the outline of biblical usage it says a pail or a stake and what do you do with a pail or a stake you stake it into the earth or the ground to lay your claim to something which is exactly what the elites want to do to you goyim they want to put their digital stake in you to uh, show that you're our property. And in the root word, what does it say? From harasso to sharpen to a point, akin to the idea of scratching. Again, scratching or cutting into your skin to put that haragma in you. And when we go to the root word, it's G1125, grafo. And in the outline of biblical usage, it says to write with reference to the form of the letters to write with reference to the contents of the writing now here's the main one i want to get to to commit to writing things not to be forgotten write down record your biometric information you know everything about you from your medical records also what your banking information what your job is what your uh how do i want to put this your v to the a to the x you know identification everything about you on you know your haragma so they can track and trace all your movements hey and if you're uh doing anything 
the government deems you know not kosher to the system what are they going to do and that no man might buy or sell and as that woman said in that clip travel abroad get a job get on a train a plane and automobiles <laughs> like that movie etc etc save he that had the haragma or the name of the b-e-a-s-t or the number of his name everything is perfectly lining up with biblical prophecy and like i said at the beginning of the video hey you false prophets out there in these other camps you're gonna have a lot of blood on your hands if you know you don't get right and continue to lead your flocks astray and you think that by taking the politically correct route that devil is not going to come down on you like uh you know he's going to come down on the true men of the lord but hey that devil sees you as a nigger and a spick and a tanto just like he sees us as one and he's coming down on israel as a whole but you hey you're just going to get completely ran through because the you know the protection of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is not going to be over you because you're you're you know breaking down these scriptures wrong and just being complete demons out here this is Isaiah chapter 28 I'm gonna start at verse 14 wherefore hear the word of Yahweh ye scornful men that rule this people which is in Jerusalem and you know Jerusalem is a people before it's a place so it's speaking to you wicked rulers of these different congregations and camps out here because ye have said we have made a covenant with death hey so we don't have any uh concrete you no know, evidence by the way you're moving hey some of y'all have taken that bag out there you made a covenant with death or esau you know to get money you know, to get a uh, recognition and to think that when he comes down, he's not going to come down on you like he's going to come down on those that, you know, are standing in righteousness, you know, that didn't take the bag. But when you look at the history of this devil, what has he always done with our people? The people he used to, uh, you know, divide and conquer and come against their own people when he was done taking down that particular group. Hey, he threw you under the bus as well, because ye have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell. Are we at agreement? And was it say about Esau in Habakkuk chapter two? He is as death and hell and cannot be satisfied when the overflowing scourge shall pass through a hey, Esau coming down in great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. As it says in Revelation 12, verse 12, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge and under falsehood have we hid ourselves a lot of y'all are gonna have that diddy moment diddy was juiced in with the uh powers that be but what now he's getting exposed for the world to see for his wickedness verse 16 therefore thus saith the lord yahweh behold i lay in zion for a foundation a stone a tried stone a precious cornerstone Hey, that that uh that cornerstone that was rejected but became the headstone Yahavashai, which you know a lot of y'all camps well you know i'm gonna say particular camps you don't even want to say the name the true name of the son of the heavenly father you don't want to say Yahavashai. you want to say in in most high in christ bless some of y'all don't want to give you know Yahavashai as props that we don't need to worship him You've rejected the cornerstone, just like, uh, you know, the wicked scribes and the fat Pharisees and Sadducees did in the past, because a lot of y'all are them very same men coming back in your lot in the reincarnation. A tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste and shall also be delivered. Judgment also will I lay to the line and righteousness to the plummet. And the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies and the waters shall overflow the hiding place. And hey, a lot of y'all are about to be exposed again like the diddler. And your covenant with death shall be disannulled and your agreement with hell shall not stand. 
Habubah Hashem Yahavashah is going to break that contract you made <laughs> with the devil. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then yet ye shall be trodden down by it. All these calamities of Jacob's trouble, which are quickly coming upon us. Hey, but ultimately, that uh, that ultimate scourge, you know, that ultimate hail, those nuclear missiles. But uh, again, hey, from that clip and just from the state of things in the world, we can clearly see that these times, you know, that hour of temptation is quickly coming upon us where you're going to have to make a decision whether you're going to get on board with Esau and take his uh, haragma or whether you're going to stand 10 toes down in your faith in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai and take whatever judgment, you know, or whatever, uh, yeah, you know, whatever outcome may come your way because some of us will be martyrs and put to a deletion for not going along with Esau back in Revelation chapter 13 verse 15 and he had power to give life unto the image of the B-E-A-S-T and the image of the B-E-A-S-T is the financial, political and military aspects of this uh, B-E-A-S-T system that we're currently living in the last leg of the fourth beast in Daniel chapter 2 those iron toes mixed with miry clay, the reincarnated Roman Empire the NATO EU system that the U.S. is a part of and at the head of that the image of the B.E.A.S.T. should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the B.E.A.S.T. should be killed, you know, reputationally and financially exed out of society, you know, that they may neither buy nor sell, but hey, face that real deletion as well. But to you sincere you know, Akium and Akwat out there. Hey, if you stand firm until the end, you're going to be of that elect number and receive, you know, you know, salvation ultimately. This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things with that which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil or deceiver Esau Edom shall cast some of you into prison why because you don't want to get on board with this system that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation 10 days which just means a complete amount of tribulation for whatever your lot is be thou faithful unto death if that's your lot and i will give thee a crown of life and hey, you being uh, the first fruits in the kingdom of heaven of that elect number This is Revelation chapter 20. I believe it's verse 5. Revelation 20 verse 4. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them. Hey, the 144,000 of the elect. The men that are going to be the governing body. Underneath Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh in the kingdom. And judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh And for the word of the Most High which had not worshipped the B-E-A-S-T, neither his image, they had no part in this system, neither had received his haragma upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years, the first fruits in the kingdom of heaven, with Yahawashai for the first thousand years of the kingdom of heaven, watching it getting built up, having a hand in ruling over these heathens, who are going to be slaves for that first thousand years building up the kingdom of heaven so this is a very great honor you know to you uh you know you you brothers out there that if it's your lot to go out like a soldier of yahweh shai hey to take it manfully because you're automatically going to be of the elect and receive that crown and hey have a hand in the first thousand years of the kingdom of heaven with yahweh shai building up the kingdom and hey, to you uh, sincere sisters out there, hey, you're gonna if you if you stay firm in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, hey, you're gonna make it as well and be one of the wives, you know, of the elect man. And we're all 
Abarat Azam of that number, going to have that eternal memorial of righteousness of those that stood firm in Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and didn't give in to this devil and bowed the knee unto Baal. But to you uh, Israelites out there who get weak and receive that haragma, you're going to have that eternal memorial of shame as those who didn't believe in their power and bent the knee unto Esau and received this haragma. And you're going to receive that death by pain, ultimately that death by fire. This is Revelation chapter 14, verses 9 to 10. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the B-E-A-S-T and his image and receive his haragma in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, getting burned up by those nuclear missiles when they're shot during World War III, and what? Also getting hit by that concentrated heat or those so-called laser beams from the chariots of the Most High, which people are, you know, refer to as uh, UFOs, in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, Yahawashai, Yahawashai and the elect that didn't bend the knee to the beast. Hey, they're going to have a front row seat to seeing uh, the just desserts of the wicked and those living that wicked lifestyle and those that have cleaved unto the wicked, making that covenant of death unto them, which as it also said, it shall be disannulled and you're going to be taken away by that great scourge. But I'm going to close it out in Habakkuk chapter 2. Start at verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And that's what the men of the Lord are doing, standing upon their watch, watching the news, reading the scriptures, and then filtering the news through the scriptures to go out and prophesy, you know, on the highways and byways, as well as putting up these video epistles to warn the elect of the times to come. And Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Verse three, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And we are quickly coming into that appointed time where this vision is speaking and not lying. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And again, we can clearly see it's no longer tarrying. So that's it with this video. And with this video, I hope you sincere Akim and Akwath were edified. Just keep strong. We are almost out of this final week of captivity of the heathen nations, chiefly of the Edomites. And as always, I'm going to say, Abad Babal, Kwam Yasharala. And until next time, Shalom.